Hi there, boys and girls. This is Mr. Justin here, and today I want to share with you uh, about someone very special. And that special someone, I'm going to write his name here on our painting board. See if you can guess who that someone special is. That's right. That someone special is Jesus. I want to talk to you about Jesus today. Now, Jesus, the Bible talks about who Jesus is. So I'm going to read something from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. And this is the Holy Bible. And it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So those are the name, some of the names of Jesus. He is Mighty God. Now, if you were Mighty God, Jesus, and you came to earth, and you wanted your friends to know who you were, what kinds of things would you do to show them that you were God? Well, some of the things that he did when he was here is he healed the blind. He helped the blind to see. He even raised a dead person back to life. Jesus also said to people, your sins are forgiven, something only God could do. So he showed everyone that he is God. Now today I want to tell you a story that comes from the Bible, something that Jesus did to show his friends that he is God. So this comes from, the story comes from Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. And it starts like this. Jesus and his friends were teaching all day, and then it got to be nighttime, and they got into a boat, and Jesus said, Let us cross the Sea of Galilee to the other side. And as they were on the water, the waves and the wind and the clouds started rolling in, and there was a mighty storm that started to form around the boat. And the wind ripped at the sails, and the waves beat against the boat. And some of the water even came inside the boat. Now, when this was happening, the disciples who were on the boat, there were 12 disciples, 12 friends of Jesus, and they were on the boat, and they looked at each other. They started to get very afraid. And they said, what's going on? These wind, these waves, we're going to be destroyed. We're going to drown. Now, these were fishermen, and they were used to being in a boat, but they were very scared because this was a big storm. So they looked at each other, they got very, very frightened. And they said, doesn't Jesus care about us? Where is Jesus? And some of the disciples said, oh, Jesus is asleep on a pillow in the stern of the boat. So they said, why is he asleep? Doesn't he care? So they went and they woke him up. So then Jesus woke up and he stood in the stern of the ship and he raised his hands. And he looked out over the sea, and he said to the sea and the waves, he said, Peace, be still. And do you know what happened? A great calm came over the sea. The wind stopped whipping the sails. The water stopped coming into the boat. And the disciples looked at each other. And Jesus looked at the disciples, and he said to them, why did you doubt? Why did you have such little faith? I'm here with you. Why did you doubt? And, they, and the disciples looked at each other and they said, Who could this be? Well, in fact, Jesus is A 
That's right, he's almighty. Jesus is almighty God. And Jesus was showing his friends, and he wants us to learn too that he is almighty God. Even the wind and the sea obey him. So what can we learn from this story? There's a couple things we can learn. And one of the things is, who is Jesus? That's what the disciples were asking. And that's what we need to ask ourselves. Who is Jesus to us? And I want to share with you in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that's Jesus, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So whoever believes in him, if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, that he is God Almighty, that he is wonderful counselor, prince of peace, if you believe that, it's important to ask Jesus, to invite Jesus into your life, kind of like the disciples had Jesus in their boat. We, we want to have Jesus in our lives, in our boat, so to speak, as well. So we can also learn that when Jesus is with us in our lives, that he can calm the storms. There's two kinds of storms. There's the kind of storm that happens on the outside, our circumstances or events in our lives that can make us afraid. There's also storms on the inside in our hearts, things like anger and fear and sadness. Well, Jesus can calm the storms on the outside and even on the inside of our lives if we pray and we ask him. And if we have faith and believe, he'll take care of us. Now, when we read the Bible and God speaks to us, it's very important to respond to Him. And we respond to Him in prayer. So, I would like to pray right now, and you can pray with me. If you don't know, have Jesus in your life, I would like you to pray right now with me. Um, and if you have storms in your life, we can pray right now for you. So, let's pray. Dear Jesus, I just thank you that you're with us, that you are in our lives, that you are in our boat, that you can calm the storms. And if anyone out there, any children have never asked you, Jesus, into their hearts, I pray that they would just give their lives over to you and that you would come into their lives and heal them and forgive them and just watch over them. And Lord, we pray for the storms in our lives and the storms in our hearts. We pray you would calm those storms and help us to be still in you, knowing that you are in our boat, you're taking care of us, and you're watching out for us. So we thank you, Jesus. And I thank you for each child watching. I pray that you would bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for joining us for this story. You can read more about the amazing things that Jesus did in the Bible. And I hope you do that at home. You can read the Bible with mom or dad uh, when you, since you can't be here with us. So God bless you. And remember, Jesus is always there to calm those storms.